I hope you think what I'm going to do is funny and laugh at me. Um, I'm a comedian. And uh, yes, I'm a comedian. And I just like to relax because it's early in the morning and I'm sleepy. I don't want to fight or nothing. I just want to be mellow. Also, I'm not a fighter. Never could fight. I had the moves, but I couldn't fight. The hidden part scared me. No, I was cool looking, you know. Did, uh, you know, did, dig it. Did you uh, anybody see uh, George Foreman uh, fight uh, Ken Norton? <laughs> that is mean. <laughs> hey, I, mean, I mean, that's the only dude in the world don't have no style. He don't have no style at boxing, right? The bell ring, he just come out right together. <laughs> and he whooped Norton like Norton said something about his mama or something, right? You know. <laughs> what you doing? Put your hand down. What you doing with a... What you got a guard for? You know what I mean? Norton said he forgot his strategy. I saw him at the beginning. I knew it was over. Norton was looking at the floor like this. It's looking like I'm gonna fall here. And George was serious. George, come on. No, I meant it. Yeah, that's all right. Just as soon as they ring the bell, you know. And just wait till they ring the bell. And look like George Foreman. It's a, you know, like when you hit him, look like that turns him on. Because that cat was hitting George some beauty, you know. Ping, ping, ping! George was talking about, that's fine, that's good. Just stand right here, just for a minute. I, I ain't finished with George. It was my turn now. He hurt him bad. I knew he was hurt. Did you see him? No, he went, oh, George hit him in the rear. You know, he said, oh. And he tried to keep his front up. Oh, oh, it hurts. <laughs> and George was serious. I'll let him go and fight in Africa. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Two brothers making five million dollars a piece. The tax is going to be eight million dollars. <laughs> I love Ollie too, man. I love all. I want Ollie to win all his fights. But you got to watch out for that Ollie. Don't let him hit you no place. First thing Ollie should do when he gets to Africa is go see the witch doctor and become invisible. <laughs> That's right. Did you see the exorcist? Yeah. Uh. See, the movie would have been over for me. If I'd have been in the movie, it would have been over. If I'd have walked in the house and heard, <laughs> that would have been it. <laughs> Wouldn't have had to go no further. <laughs> right, with all the extras? No, no, no. Brothers exercise the devil every day, though, with two words. Be cool. Because uh, the movie would have been over, right, if it had been a black man in the movie, because you don't be vomiting on no brother's clothes. <laughs> right, the brother walking, what is this smell? What's wrong? Why don't the girl wash up? What's wrong with you, girl? <laughs> Say, what the hell's wrong with you? What you doing? Nothing. I whooped her in the devil's. <laughs> messed up their clothes and put the cross back on the wall. <laughs> messing around. I know some dudes will whoop the devil, take his money. <laughs> I mean, that's all you got is a horn and tail? I don't want to see you around here no more, chump. Black people go to movies like that just on purpose to get scared because black people aren't really afraid of anything. Not really. On, they go on purpose. They want to get scared. Scare me for two hours. You got it for two hours and I'm taking it back. Because after 400 years of this, you know we don't get scared of nothing for real. <laughs> Only thing that frightens me is like getting seen walking down the street with a white woman by two black women. That scares me to death. Right, because sisters look at you like you killed your mama. 
Like, you know, you'd be trying to grin it off. They don't even want to hear she was. <laughs> Not with me. I got married in California, married a white woman. Don't ever get a divorce here. Because my wife went to the court dressed like, it looked like she was 11. She walked in the courtroom, I said, who is that? The judge started crying, my lawyer started crying. Everybody was crying, you know, and I knew I was in trouble because the judge said, come here, boy. 